Hello, my name is Matthew Glinky. I'll be your next speaker. Are all my judges ready? And my timer? Okay, let's begin. Do you ever ask yourself what could have happened if you had decided to take that one chance? Our life is a series of choices, from choosing toys from the store as a child, to being a, what sport we want to play or where we want to go to college as a teenager, to what job we want or who we want to marry as an adult. But what if? Could you have taken a risk that would have changed your life? Today I decided to take a risk by wearing this suit so no, it wasn't a hand-me-down that I was forced to wear. And for the first time ever, you may have to ponder what you put in the professional appearance box on the ballot. Me and my, my competitors that saw me in the suit in the hallway are thinking, at least I beat that guy. Whether or not you think the suit is a good risk or a bad risk is completely up to you. The definition of risk, however, is the potential of losing something of value. The value could include social status, emotional well-being, physical health, financial wealth. As we go through life, God gives us opportunities to take smart risks, to put ourselves outside of our comfort zone, which can lead to failure after failure, but have the possibility to lead success after success. Today, I want to excite something inside of you, a desire to take a smart risk because of the beneficial outcome it can have on your life or on the life of someone that you know. Some of the greatest people, inventions, historical events have all started with risks. Kicked fired from a newspaper company because he lacked imagination and creativity. You may recognize his name as Walt Disney. And if you ask me, Disneyland is a pretty creative place kicked out of his company at 30 years old, only to come back and lead it into a new era of technological devices, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, which produces iPhones, iMacs, iPads, iWatches, for all we know, probably the iCar pretty soon. Cut from his high school basketball team, this boy went home, shut his door, locked it, and cried. This boy was Michael Jordan, who went on to become a basketball legend. Last but not least, they were ejected from Decca Recording Studios because they lacked potential in the show business. The Beatles were one of the most influential and famous bands our world has ever seen. So what am I trying to say? What do all of these people have in common? They decided to take a risk. Regardless of what others around them said, they had confidence in themselves and they changed the world in ways never thought possible. Unlike the risks I just mentioned, obviously foolish risks exist also. For example, trying to cross a four-lane freeway with a blindfold on is a bad risk. Furthermore, trying to walk across a tightrope for the first time ever in your entire life Multiple stories off the ground, also with a blindfold, is a bad risk. Pretty much if it ends with the words, with a blindfold on, you may want to reevaluate that risk one or two more times. Don't risk a lot with the potential of only gaining a little. Because then you'll take risks at the safety of yourself, at the safety of others. You'll find yourself picking up the shattered remains of your dreams. Risks should include some sort of logic and reason because then they're going to end out in a detrimental way. People influenced not to take risks have grown up in environments teaching risk is always at the safety of others, always detrimental, always careless. But we can't live in a safety zone our entire life. As John A. Sheed says, an American novelist, ships are safe in the harbor, but <laughs> that's not what ships are meant for. So what do we learn by taking risks? How do we benefit by taking risks? First, by taking risks, you're able to learn new aspects about yourself, about the world, maybe strengths and weaknesses that you never knew you had. If you never step up to the challenge, you might find yourself in a life that bores you with no dynamic, no color. Second, by taking risks, it gives you the ability to overcome your fears. Life doesn't come with any guarantees, and that's what makes it scary. But that's where we learn our confidence and our courage. Third, by taking risks, we're able to learn from our failures. 
I hate to break it to you, but risks don't always end in success. Thomas Edison was in the process of creating the light bulb, and it failed on over 9,000 different models. A reporter came up to him and asked, have any time during this process you felt like a failure? Thomas Edison responded with, why would I feel like a failure? I now know, now know 9,000 different ways that a light bulb doesn't work. Success is nearly in my grasp. A thousand tries later, Thomas Edison went on to create the light bulb. Fourth and finally, by taking risk, you are able to achieve your goals and amb ambitions. You can't just expect success to fall on your lap. You can't play it, save all the time and achieve your ambitions. No, you have to go outside of your comfort zone, step by step, risk by risk, to find and follow what you're passionate about. Now, you could be sitting there thinking, what could I have been? What could I have done? Or you could take the opportunities that still exist to add something to your story of life. Because you'll find as your story closes and it wraps up, the things that you regret the most are the things that you didn't do. Well, you don't have to agonize over every single decision. It's the big opportunities that involve risk that leave you standing in your tracks. Give you the ability to take a risk or to play it safe. And what are you going to choose? As I talked about good and bad risks, and how risks influence our life, you may not see this soon as a good representation of what I'm trying to get across. But I would like to disagree. I don't want you to remember me, which would be nice, or the suit necessarily, which in case you're wondering, you can buy one at oposuits.com. But the idea behind the suit because as crazy as I may look in this suit, if I am able to inspire you, motivate you to take a risk, even with the opportunity of failure, I'd be willing to do it over and over again. Because the biggest risk you'll ever take in your entire life is not taking any risk at all. Thank you very much.